I will give this away. So please subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I post the giveaway video. Spoiler alert, this is not an Apple AirPods. This is a China AirPod clone. It looks very cool. Use this bot, bot, bot. Thanks to Pablo. He made a real gold AirPod on YouTube. Inspired me to make a clear one. And this one function properly. This AirPods clone can trigger pop up on iPhone. Connect to an iPhone just like a real AirPods. And every time you open the case, there will be a pop up also. I will now play some music. As you can hear, it functions properly. For the tapping function, one side is for play and pause, one side is for triggering Siri. I was planning to use a real AirPod, but I watched a lot of teardown video. Seems I cannot find anyone can safely disassemble it. Seems impossible to even put them back together. But I'll try it in the nearly future. If I success, I will post a video. I bought both clone and real AirPod. The right one is the real AirPod and the left side is a AirPod clone. As you can see the package, they are very very similar. But the China one don't have Apple logo and the AirPod words. The packing inside are very much alike. Now you are seeing a real AirPod package. And this one is the clone package. When you put them side by side, you can't even tell which one is which because their size and shape are very similar. For the charging case, you can clearly tell which one is which because the button is at a different location and there is marking on a real airport. Let's measure the weight of both airports and the weights are very similar, less than a gram of different so I think you cannot tell the weight different of them. Let's start disassembling the airport clone now. As I search online, both the real one and the clone one, they open from the bottom. But the clone one is much easier to take the bottom part off because they didn't use any glue at all. Then we need to open the top part. You need to use a very sharp razor because I want the parting part become very clear. I won't chip away any plastic because that will leave a mark on the casting afterward. Then we need to disorder the speaker and the battery. Interestingly, there is a copper thin sticker on the inside of the AirPod clone. I think that is used as a capacitive sensor to detect if the AirPod clone is on your ear or not. Because a real AirPod uses two IR sensors to detect if the AirPod is in your ear, which is a very smart way for the AirPod clone. After everything is disordered, we can take out the main motherboard of the AirPod clone. And we found out there is no microphone at all, so you can only listen. After I took out the main motherboard, I found an other copper sticker piece at the very back of the airport. 
and that is another capaci capacitive sensor for the airport to sense tap function because this airport didn't have any gyro screw or accelerometer to detect the tapping motion so you need to tap at that specific location so it can sense your tap by touch sensitive sensor the next step is to take away all the sticker mesh and everything I only need the plastic case so I can do a clear cast now comes to the speaker part it's only glued by double sided tape and you only need to ply it open but I think it's better you heat it up a little bit before because the sticker itself also stick to the diaphragm of the speaker if you tear it down cold it will rip off the diaphragm of the speaker the final step is to take away any leftover glue and also the mesh so I can have a clear plastic case for me to do the molding keep all the parts neat and tidy so you don't lose any part that you need to do the assemble everything is disassembled so now we can start to make the mold I selected a chopstick tip because it's pointy and it's round in shape so it's very good for making the runner for the mold and then I stick them all into the parts then fix everything onto a piece of clear plastic whatever clear plastic because you need to see the silicone run inside when doing the pouring the final outcome is like this it looks like a very good art piece in an exhibition then start to mix the silicon degas the silicon and now we can start pouring in the silicon this is what it looks like after pour after it dried let's peel away the transparent plastic and take away anything that is not silicon now comes the most tedious part is to cut open the mold and take away the plastic case because I want to keep the glossy of the parts that's why I didn't apply any demolding agent before I cast that's why it become a bit difficult to take away the parts this mold is very difficult to make so I divided into two separate parts and you can see you. the inside part that makes the hollow shape have to shove into the part so the next step is to use tape to secure the mold because it's two separate parts now comes to the pouring of resin I use a syringe because the part is a bit too small so I need to apply some forces to squeeze the resin into the mold as you can see in the video you can see the clear resin slowly squeeze through the gap after the resin has dried and then we can take out the part first remove all the runner and then open the mold and take out the parts the casting comes out really good but the inside of the plastic they use they add some numbers to it I don't know why and some inside are not glossy so some part may look a little bit 
less transparent. This is the finished cast part. There are only four pieces for these two airports. So you can see the inside of the airport. I don't know why they add some numbers to it. Now we need to put everything back together. After the motherboard get put in, it already look very amazing. The bottom charging connection is only snap in. It didn't apply any glue or soldering. Solder everything back together. Stick the copper sticker to its place. Put the battery back. Put the speaker back into place. Voila! It's done. Isn't it looks very amazing? If you want this very special AirPod clone, please subscribe because I will upload a giveaway video later so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.